In this video, I will be breaking down the best and most popular methods used to solve the Rubik's Cube. I will talk about 11 of them in this video and they get crazier as they go. Number 1. Layer by Layer The layer by layer method is when you solve one layer by making a cross, then filling in the corners, then you solve the four edges in the middle layer, and finally solving the last layer using a few easy steps. This method is very easy to learn as you only need to memorize a minimum of 6 algorithms. Layer by layer is the method most people learn when they first learn how to solve the Rubik's Cube, and it is the foundation of many methods used in top speed cubing. Number 2. Corners first. In this method, you, well, solve the corners first. This is basically solving a 2x2 two two, but on a 3x3. Three three. From here, there are various ways you can solve the edges. The one I've found easiest is to do the top and bottom edges and then permute and orient the ones in the middle layer. Corners first is another method a few beginners use when first learning the Rubik's Cube instead of layer by layer. But it is a lot more uncommon as you do need to know how to solve the 2x2 two two stage and some of the algorithms at the end can be a bit tricky. Also, you have less freedom to do things. Fun fact, the first ever official Rubik's Cube world record of 22 seconds was set using the corners first method. Number 3. CFOP method In CFOP, you make a cross just like layer by layer. But instead of doing the corners and then solving the edges in the middle layer, you do them at the same time by pairing up a matching corner and edge and inserting. This is called F2L, which stands for first two layers. From here, you orient the last layer, meaning you have just one color on the top. You can either do two look OLL, which requires eight algorithms, or one look OLL, which requires 57 algorithms. Finally, you permute the last layer. Again, you can do two look PLL, which is six algorithms, or one look PLL, which you need 21 algorithms. In top speed cubing, CFOB is by far the most popular method and has been for many years now. Number 4, the Roux method. At the start of a Roux solve, you make a 1x2x3 block and then another 1x2x3 block on the other side. Here, you solve the last 4 corners on the top layer. Then you orient the remaining edges using M and U moves. And finally, solve the edges using algorithms or intuition. Roux is a really good method and with a lot of practice, it can be really fast. It is the second most popular method in top speed cubing behind CFOP. Number 5. ZZ ZZ is a really interesting method. At the very start of the solve, you do a few moves to orient all 12 edges on the cube. This small step takes a lot of practice and understanding to get good at. While doing this, you solve the front and back cross pieces, making what's called the EO line. This allows you to solve the rest of the cube with just L, R and U moves, meaning you don't have to rotate at all during the solve and you can turn really fast. After solving the EO line, a common thing to do is to solve one side of it at a time, even before fully completing the bottom cross. After completing the first two layers, you are guaranteed to get a cross on top, which gives better OLLs and also allows you to do more advanced techniques like COLL or ZBLL. ZZ along with CFOP and RU are the three most popular methods in top speed cubing. Number 6. Petrus In Petrus, you do a technique which is called block building. First, you make a 2x2x2 two by two by two block and then expand it to a 2x2x3. Two by two by After this, you orient the remaining 7 edges similar to ZZ. Then, you solve the rest of the first 2 layers and this gives you a cross on top. Here, you solve the last layer in any of the ways we talked about previously. The Petrus method used to be pretty popular but was slowly overtaken in popularity by Ru and ZZ. Number 7. The Belt Method In the Belt Method, you solve the middle layer first, making what's called a belt. Then, you separate the pieces into the sides they go on. Then you do OLL and PLL on one side, turn the cube upside down and do OLL and PLL on the other side. The belt method might look pretty good at first, but it's not, because you often run into problems like this, or this, or this. These problems require you to do and sometimes repeat different parity algorithms, which slow down the solve a lot. Therefore, the belt method isn't very popular. Number 8. CFCE this method is very similar to CFOP. You do the cross and F2L as usual, but then instead of orienting the top, you first solve the four corners using one of 42 algorithms. This is called CLL. Finally, you do ELL, which is solving the edges of the last layer using one of 29 algorithms. This method isn't too bad, but not a lot of people use it as some of the cases have bad algorithms and are hard to recognize. Number nine, the ribbon method. This method also starts off similar to CFOP. You do the cross and three F2L well pairs, but for one of the pairs, you only need to insert the edge, leaving the corner that goes with it on the top layer. Then you do TOLS and TTLL, which is basically OLL and PLL while solving the bottom corner. This method was developed in 2017 by Justin Taylor. His video showcasing his new method is actually the only video on his channel. 
The ribbon method is pretty good, but you do need to learn a total of 266 algorithms. Almost no one has learned it yet, as you need to learn a lot of algorithms and it barely saves any time over CFOP. Number 10, blind method. The blind method or the one look method is a method used by Jack Kai and uh, does anyone else even use this method? I don't know. It is where you take one of the methods used in the blindfold event such as the three style method and use it in the normal 3x3 event. In the 3x3 event, you get 15 seconds of inspection time. The best blindfold solvers only need about 7 seconds to inspect the cube before putting on their blindfold and solving it. So it is very much possible to one look a Rubik's cube. Despite this, it is not as fast as other methods such as CFOP. Number 11, ZB method. The ZB method is arguably the most advanced method in cubing that people actually use. The first half of the method is the same as CFOP until you get to the fourth pair of F2L. Here you do ZBLS, which is solving the pair and also creating a cross on top. Full ZBLS has just over 300 algorithms. From here, you need to know full ZBLL, which is another 472 algorithms. Understandably, very few people use this method. The fastest of these people is Anthony Brooks, who averages around 8 seconds. There is also one look last layer, where after doing the first two layers, regardless of what case you get, you solve the whole thing with just one algorithm. However, it requires you to learn around 4000 algorithms and unsurprisingly, no one is yet to learn them all. So there are all the best Rubik's Cube methods explained in one video. If you want me to make a full tutorial of any of these methods, let me know in the comments and I might make it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.